We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Rais Yatim who is Minister for Information, Communications and Culture for Malaysia. Dr. Yatim, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Uh, there have been a lot of discussions and developments here at Wicket 2012. It's been um, a uh, reasonably uh, smooth ride, but there have also been a few bumps along the way. I wanted to ask you about your impressions of Wicked 2012 so far. Well, thank you very much. Uh, firstly, with a membership of 193 <laughs> nations, uh, you can't expect everything will be as smooth as jelly. <laughs> and therefore, the uh, conference itself uh, has been very rewarding for most of us. And uh, the elements which have been uh, floated by members are, in our view, not equally being treated in the sense that, you know, for example, a country, a nation would like to speak about a certain uh, position on the content. Uh, but uh, the chairman feels that, oh, we, we shouldn't discuss this now. We should always st stick to uh, the specifics which we have uh, arranged for the meeting. Uh, I thought that uh, whilst the opportunity to speak on these topics are given, but the parameter of relevance were not demarcated well. And therefore, uh, perhaps uh, to give the perspective of the meeting its international um, meaning and uh, uh, importance, we should uh, level out and uh, determine the topics which are actually relevant. For example, the question of security, the question of integrity, of uh, network. Uh, some of them feel that uh, th this is not so important, but we will put this in. So that kind of attitude, perhaps, uh, as ITU is, uh, is a big conglomerate, uh, the texture of the future, in my view, uh, would depend on the uh, communications of nations, communications of countries, communications of, of programs fixed on uh, integrated line, integrated online services. And therefore security and integrity are very important. What are going to be the major concerns for Malaysia coming from this summit? We feel strongly that um, ITU, for example, whilst it will not be allowed uh, to delve into certain areas because of its historical and also uh, business-based ideas uh, to come up with certain things. Nevertheless, this conference uh, should be relevantly talking about the new things that we should put into the rules. Uh, it has been more than two decades and the rules have been there rather dormant and, and therefore with the new thinking, uh, the question of security, uh, the integrity, uh, content, we believe uh, are not irrelevant. And therefore we should seriously consider these are civilizational matters. And if ITU within WCIT cannot talk about it, then uh, for us, what's in it for us in the future then? What do you see as being the most positive aspects to come from uh, Wicket 12? Uh, the determination of the uh, countries or the uh, member states to come up without being hindered by superpower views. Uh, by superpower views, I mean those coming from the United States, uh, those coming from uh, members of the Security Council, not to do this, not to do that. ITU, we believe, should come forward brave and clean with ideas that will uh, give the impetus for the 193 um, member states, uh, the future that they want. Therefore, the internet that is safe for children, the internet that is good for business, the internet that is security-wise very relevant to society. And what are some of the outcomes that you hope to see from Wicked 12? Uh, <clears throat> we hope uh, the question of spam could be discussed uh, widely and as you know with 183 billion spam a day within emails throughout the world uh, don't tell me th this is uh, not relevant for us to talk at ITU but some members feel and the chairman uh, felt so that uh, perhaps this we should revalue or reweigh the importance of it 
Malaysia feels that spam is one thing that we ought to tackle right on the head. And uh, to say that, how can we lessen it? And finally, how can we rid of it so that our online and our network are clean for business, for education, and you don't have to be worrying about you know, the bulge of spam coming into your mail every day. And you can't do anything about it. So this is relevant, and if ITU members cannot come with a clean picture for the future on this, we feel we have missed something. Finally, I was going to ask you, how do you see the future of telecommunications in Malaysia and in your region? Uh, that, uh, I think, is a subjective question, but we are very happy with the uh, augmentation of new things coming up. Uh, for example, we, we are a very ferocious and a very, uh, shall I say, positive users of Facebook. Uh, more than uh, 13 million out of a population of 28 million. And uh, the number of, of handphone users, 35 million out of population of 28 million. So that exceeds 100%. Uh, In fact, it is 133%. Uh, there are many other things, uh, for, for example, the, the telcos uh, in the country are making good profit and uh, we are fighting for a position whereby the telecommunications should consider affordable rates for the people uh, within the villages as well as within the cities. And uh, uh, the world of IT in Malaysia is very healthy and uh, we regard it as one of the churners of uh, um, the income for the nation. And beyond that, it has changed civilization. And I must lament, as Minister of uh, Culture, we have lost some of the uh, nostalgic values in the country due to the uh, ogling of the new things coming through internet. But what can you do, you know? Uh, as I said, this is civilizational and is coming on to a different pedestal to be appreciated. And we go along, but we try our best to keep the good ones within the framework of our own civilization. Minister Rais Yatim, thank you very much indeed for your, your fascinating and uh, insightful uh, view on, on the conference so well, far. We equally, uh, it's very thankful for us uh, to have you ask me all these questions. And with your glib prose, I think uh, we have achieved what we, ha we want to achieve this, this morning. And lovely meeting you. Thank you very much. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you.